Welcome to trust. Does the mind trust? Trust, trust. It's not easy. Truth is not easy. When you trust the trust, no matter how much Judas is around you, but not in you. And Christ looked at Judas and looked at this one and that one said, Soon, all of you. So they left him alone. And, but he is not alone. He's still alive. And all the Judases are dead. So trust, when you are in deep trust, that quality of trust transforms your life, no matter what the circumstances. Let's name it David. It's only name of the body. And David went to live in Tibet with the master. And he had so much trust with the master. And everybody was like jealous and envying, oh, he's going to be the master after the master dies. And he was in his joy. He was not even thinking of what they are thinking about it. He was so much in love, in trust with the master. And then the disciples, they told him, David, if you really trust your master, go up high onto this mountain and throw yourself from that cliff. And he did it. And they, all the disciples, they went there. And he was still alive. Oh my God, they said. Is this our master so powerful? And then they told him, look, there's a fire here. If you go to the house, there's a woman there with a child. And he went in and saved the woman and the child. And he became more radiant more light, more crystallized. And when the master knew this, he looked at him, he said, how can you do this? He said, because of your love, because of your trust, because I trust in you. And the master became so arrogant and big ego. Okay, if this is my disciple in my name, you are doing this. So what about myself? I can throw myself. And nobody heard about the master, but the disciple is still alive because he's still a jewel. The trust is a jewel, but the ego is a pebble. So trust the trust, no matter what people are doing for you, whoever stabs me because I'm in front, and if it's face to face, then we are all looking at the original face. When somebody tells me any hurt, immediately I answer. I don't hold it, just face to face, on the spot. So I feel always empty, this emptiness. No hate, no anger, no fear. But very few people that I met or living with them, they do this. I learned this the first time I lived in a commune. Once a week we all meet and we discharge, we vomit. We tell each other what we did this week, how we hurt each other. And then uh, what's our vision for this week? The good things. Okay, then we meet. What happened with the good vision and why bad things came to me? We all support each other. Forgive. Let go and let God. And it's so beautiful when you forgive and you forget. Not easy, easy to forgive me, but not to forget. People that I had lived with them in the Arab world who are not in a commune, I can hardly trust anybody. I trust the trust in them, but not the mind. So I don't work with them. I don't help them. I don't throw my jewels to the pigs because these are not mine. It's the mine of the mine, not the mine. So give your diamonds to the jeweler who knows how to use it. And 
unless you become a jeweler. I am much better today than yesterday and the history. But I still want to support, want to help people, and then they don't deserve it. And I see it after I say it. Today I met a beautiful woman, like I wanted to buy something, and she said, no, I cannot sell it because I love it. I just bought it as a decoration, but I will share it with you just to put it on the web or on TV. But she said, I met a man today, and he told me, the man told her, I eat seafood, only seafood. I said, there must be a word in this. He said, whatever I see, I eat. It's so beautiful. It's a good trick. It's a good joke and joy. Okay. That this is trust. Whatever the eye trusts. If you trust it all and you eat it with so much love, you change the potion and the poison into nectar, nectar, elixir. It's up to us. You know, the kids, they eat when they are hungry and if they eat anything like building a house of sand and then they build another one. Just a joy, a toy, a game. We too. Let's go back to our inner child. Not childish, but childlike.